All right. Welcome, kings and queens. We are back, honey, and we are talking all things love and marriage, Huntsville. Listen, I was going to sit this one out. Follow me closely. I'd rather be a truth teller than to get in the algorithm just to trend and and just talk about shit that's not true. But baby, y'all were blowing me up this weekend about Sherelle's world and coming after Melody and DNA tests and Martell's daughter not being his, all of this crazy stuff. And the first thing I said is I said, Queen Sheba, you going to sit back and you're going to watch it unfold. But then it intensified. And I said, we got to talk about it. But if we're going to talk about it, we got to bring receipts. We got to bring receipts. So we not only are we going to talk about y'all, how low will you go when it comes to people's kids now? That's a dirty game to play. And I see the comments have been turned off because, baby, if you don't feel good about people commenting on it, then don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. If you're not ready to take the heat that comes with it, don't talk about it. If you got to turn your comments off, you know you out of order deep down inside. But, y'all, we're about to lay some shit out today that is going to blow your minds. And I just, I'm like, whoa. Everybody's quick to talk about mellometers this and mellometers that, but it seems like Carlos King may have just sicked his raindrops to uh, come and attack Melody's children, Melody's character, Melody's reputation. Now, Carlos, I'm going to sit back and watch this one because you were quick to say, should your fan base get out of line, you would be the first to call them off. I'm waiting. Cause, because your fan base, ranging from the people, your raindrops, inclusive of cast members' mothers that have professed publicly to be raindrops, the bloggers that you're working with that are raindrops. Now you didn't let these, you didn't suck, you didn't let these people go out and spread malicious rumors that are not true. Right? Now we talking, we talking, but you ain't called them off to say, hey, y'all going too far. As a matter of fact, that's not true. And what we're not going to do is attack this little innocent, beautiful girl. Now that's a, Carlos, you said it, but yet your raindrops are running amok in your palace. Y'all ready to talk about it? For those of you who are just tuned in, or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the palace. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television, but most importantly, I hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the black experience. Subscribe now. Yes, y'all, it seems that Carlos King has decided to declare a war on Melody Cherie by any means necessary. And honey, he has called up all of the raindrops and they are drizzling and the sizzling everywhere. Now, I'm just sitting back watching because I'm I'm like, <laughs> first of all, ain't no motherfucking way. Nobody. Producer, cast member, Martel Hope could feed me enough to make me regurgitate everything that they've put in front of me. Because at the end of the day, I got common sense. I've sat in front of a lot of people. I've interviewed a lot of people. And for the shit that I don't believe, I don't come back with it. Because my brain says, "Mm -mm, that ain't tracking. That don't sound right. I'm not repeating it. Or if they insist on talking about it, I'm like, "Eh, you're going to be a little bit off there because we just, the dots are just not connecting. Now, I want to get into it, baby. I want to get into all of it, but I, but I there is so much to talk about. I'm like, where do I start? So I want to start first things first with the domestic violence lie, blatant lie that Martel shared or Carlos, somebody shared, but all I know is the raindrops are out here repeating it. Uh, one raindrop has reported that Mel allegedly Melody agreed to drop domestic violence charges against Martel if he would allow the children to film. Y'all sit back and see that. That's where I know that some of you, it's okay not to like somebody, but stand on that. Just be like, I don't like her. I don't like her. So it doesn't matter to me whether it's true or false because I don't like her. This is how I know that the hate is real. You cannot drop domestic violence charges because the state picks them up. I'm going to wait. 
you cannot, no victim can drop charges. Once the state, once you, listen, once the state has picked it up, it's above me. So that's a blatant lie that Carlos or Martel or somebody then fed somebody. And you, instead of using your common sense, you ran with it and you just blabbing it away. All you have to do is pause. Because one thing I can tell you about Martel Holt, he don't give three fucks about you, you, or you. Martel will use you until he has used you up. If you want to go out and tell a lie to Martel, he will. But I want to call your attention to historical context. One thing Martel has consistently done is he has turned on everybody he's ever dealt with, including his own mama, his own brother, his ex-wife, Melody Cherie, his mistress, his friends, the Scots, now his friend, Chris Fletcher, who's he, whom he is featured being shown in a promo, calling his wife a side chick. So if you decide to get in bed with Martel Holt, come with me. Come what? Because he is going to expose you down to the white meat, baby. And when he's done with you, you would you're gonna wish that you had not. He don't give a damn about you going down over a lie. Martel will utilize his kids by any means necessary. And I'm beginning to think that I'm the only blogger. And maybe that's because I'm a mellow meter, but I got enough damn sense to say, hold up, bro. <laughs> we not doing that. So Martel Hope wanted me to manipulate. That means leave information out and read stuff about his kids so that he would appear to be the good parent against Melody. I had enough sense to not do that. So if you are dumb enough to come to your platform and spat, spout that out without thinking, wait a minute, now that's a damn lie. Because can't no victim drop charges anyway once the state, y'all, let me stop. Number one. Number two, when Martel was arrested, y'all, he said it. There's a no contact order. He has asked him to show you. Do y'all not ask for receipts when y'all talk to these people that are leaking information? Because y'all about to go to, listen, since everybody want to talk about lawsuits, do you not ask for receipts so that you can make sure you're good? Do you not ask? Do you have any proof of that? So if he told you or whomever, producer, whomever slid that quote unquote information over to you, did you not ask for a receipt? Because based on their case, there's a no contact order in most domestic most domestic um, violence disputes. And if I'm correct, and if my memory serves me correct, based on what Martel has shared, he is not allowed to contact Melody. So she could not have told him that. That is a bold face lie, but yet you ran with it. Listen, okay, 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 okay. Now, y'all all know that Martel is jammed up for money. I don't see Martel Hope paying for anything that is not his. If he really felt like that beautiful little girl was not here, his, don't you think he would have already run a paternity and exposed a paternity test and exposed the fuck out of Melody? If that little girl is not his, ask him for the paternity test. Why would you utilize your platform to run a lie? Tell him, show me, can you share that? Where Melody said she would drop charges, domestic violence charges against you. If you let the kids get on television, is that what she really said? Or are you manipulating fragments of conversations? That's my first thing. I don't know, but come what may, because baby, if you are working with Martel Hope, I'm going to sit back, I am going to relax, and I'm about to enjoy this ride. I'm about to enjoy this because this is, this is about to get really interesting because he is about, he is, he may not do it today. He may not do it tomorrow, but he will hang each of you out to dry. Especially those, fame is a hell of a drug, baby. And I don't understand why anyone would cover any show for people that they cannot stand or do not like. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying I don't understand it because that's always the first thing that comes out of your mouths. I don't even like the show. I can't wait for it to be over. Well, well, well. Yet here we are, new season, and there you are, Mr. I can't wait for it to be over. Well, 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 Sherelle, I am sick of Carlos King. I am sick of Melody. 
then why speak on it? I ain't speaking on nothing that makes me sick. Nothing that keeps me irritated, stressed, busted, disgusted, and depressed. I'm moving on, baby, like the Jeffersons. You're large enough. Your platform is developed enough that you can cover things that don't make you sick. Because you said you don't watch the show. Then why comment on it? Who's who? I'm like Capital One, uh, Capital One. What's in your wallet? Whose payroll are you on? Who's feeding you those lies that could cause you to lose your channel? Hmm? Especially when it comes to the paternity of an innocent child. When you don't have hardcore receipts. Even if you, is you're just repeating what he said. Or what a producer said. You better fucking ask for receipts. Now, here's what concerns me the most. If you are reading, (laughs) see, it's, it's one thing when a parent says something, right? And if what, if I, I have a funny feeling and a sneaky suspicion of what's going on here. Okay. So let's just say hypothetically, you got what I got by way of documentation. Then you know what type of woman or man would not believe a child when they say, I got hit this amount of times until my head was bleeding. What type of man or woman? That's why you got to be careful with YouTube because it brings out the mentally unstable baby. But what type of man or woman would think it's okay and not believe a child if you were reading the report where the child clearly states that his father punched him in the arm so hard that three, four, five days later, when it was time for him to go back to his mother's home, his arm was still hurting. Okay. And what type of man or woman with a platform would not believe a child when they said they asked their father, could you take me to the doctor? Cause my arm is hurting so bad. See, I probably would turn off my comments too, because that's, that's kind of low. Now you calling the child a liar. And I don't play when it comes to that. I'm going to always give a little kid the benefit of the doubt, especially when it's documented that that was not the first time that child had endured physical abuse from his father. Can we go on? Can we go on? What type of man or woman would not believe a child when they said their father bullies them and calls them out of their name and threatens to beat them as soon as all of this is over? Are y'all that fucking jammed up for money, fame, and attention that you would take this story and ruin your reputation for all the work that you've done as opposed to saying, I'm not, I'm not fucking with that. Martel, Carlos, whomever gave you, whomever you raindrops work for. I'm not running with that. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Because that, listen, I saw it myself now. These are papers that Martell, and I hate repeating myself, I said it before, or maybe I said it behind the wall. You hurt your son. I saw it myself. Now, call me a liar. I don't have respect for people that don't believe children when they are clearly describing in great detail. You got the paperwork. That's why y'all are talking about it, right? Because somebody, who sent you? Somebody sent you to attack these ladies' children by way of paternity by, and, and her character and all of that. If you're going to do it, keep it to the adults. But tell them, I don't fuck with kids like that. I don't do that. I can talk about everything else, but y'all not going to have me calling these kids a lie when I'm reading it right here in black and white. And if you're not sure, you can always ask for receipts. That's your job to be responsible on your platform. But what goes on in the dark will always come to light. And that's why it ain't sticking. Because your agenda is wrong. Because you used to be over here. You used to be all up on her platform, praising her, getting her advice. I don't trust people that turn. I don't trust people that turn. Sherelle, she didn't sat on your platform. I don't trust people that turn because one day Carlos's shows are going to be over. And when we, Carlos don't really have a lot of longevity when it comes to his shows. And eventually, Love and Marriage Huntsville is going to fizzle out. But your reputation as a blogger, as a person, will still stand as not to be trusted. 
snakes that you cannot trust because they what? they'll bite you. They'll turn on you. But all I'm saying is, Sherelle, the, the judge did order a psychological evaluation. Did Martel or whomever, Carlos, tell you that? And did he show you proof of it? You know why? Because he's avoiding it. Now, why would he be avoiding the results of, of a psychological evaluation if he's perfectly normal, if he's a great father, like y'all say he had, like y'all say he is, and if he's this stand-up guy? Okay? The only person who keeps bringing up their children, like I said, this man will sabotage his children to win. That's you can tell who's in bed with Kingdom Rain and the likes of a Martel Hope. When they start going after those kids, check it off your list. They're in bed with them. They're in bed with them because anybody with any decency ain't trying to, you got what, maybe $200 off of that? It ain't worth it at the end of the day. But that's how you can always tell who's in bed with who. And I don't mean intimacy, but who's in bed with who by way of relations, backdoor dealings. We on some hate type of shit. I can't stand her. You can't stand her shit. Yeah, I'll say it. For what? For what? You're ruining your own reputation. Because everybody know Martoho is batshit crazy and will lie and will lie. At the drop of a dime. Now, why would you believe or be inclined to believe anybody that is avoiding taking a psychological evaluation? Okay. Why would any man that really love his children bring up the abuse and custody on national television? Why would he keep doing that on media outlets? Huh? If he, a good father would never want to embarrass his children. Melody's not doing it. She's not doing a media circuit about those kids. Y'all, he is. He's going around with the help of whomever from Kingdom Reign and or own because you said you would call it off and it's attached to your show and your brand. You ain't called shit off. You didn't call Miss Wonder off, Miss Wanda off when she was talking, that's when she was talking about those kids. That's how, you know, there's an agenda to take Melody down, but guess what? She ain't going nowhere. Y'all don't have that power. She ain't going, there's a gag order and Tasha K both said there's a gag order. And if it's not Sherelle, it was Tasha K. Hey, then why is he talking? If there is a gag order, why is he talking on television for filming? Why is he why are they, him and the uh, producers working with bloggers? If there is a gag order, gag order, y'all better, listen, <laughs> y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. But let's talk about this takedown, child, because I say, you know what? I don't want to just get out here now and be talking about stuff because there's some stuff I do know. And I was like, well, let me hold it and see how it play out, play out because people will give you stuff behind the scenes to set your ass up, to knock you down. You got to be careful. This is a very cutthroat industry. I don't care if you think people are for you, whatever. You got to be very, very careful. So anywho, I, I got some tea a few months ago. I sat on that and I'm, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. So many of you reached out to me. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I reached out to Melody Sheree. Now, normally I don't reach out to nobody about no mess, but I was like, you know what? Sometimes viewers can really amp things up. You know, sometimes viewers can amp things up. So I said, let me see what's going on. So I said, hi, Melody. I've noticed a very strong response from Sherelle's World SW regarding her personal opinion on you. May I ask, is everything okay? I know she stated she doesn't watch Love and Marriage Huntsville. So did something happen between the two of you? Because I need to know, child. Anywho, I forgot. I, I And then I added, I forgot to mention she insinuated your fan base is troublesome and folks may be less inclined to work with you because of this. Is there any truth to this or have you been, oh, y'all, I should have, ha, or have you been impacted in any way? Promise. I promise that's my last 
question. So she responded to me the next day. She said, Hey, sorry, I'm just now seeing this been at the water park with my babies, but I don't know. I've never had a beef with her because I haven't had a reason to don't know much about her. Honestly did an interview with her years ago and she was pleasant. See, I wasn't aware of that. Okay. She said it went great. So not sure. I see she follows me. <laughs> what? Okay. Let me, okay. Hold on. Okay. She said, I see she follows me girl. I have no idea, but maybe I should go listen if it's that bad. Cause I'm not playing this year about letting people just report lies. And my fan base isn't troublesome, nor has it impacted my business negatively. Truth be told, people want to do business with me because I have such a strong and supportive fan base. Y'all see the Jay Boylan, Jay Boylan collections sold out. I'm shooting another one Monday. Oh, I can't wait. I got to see what this one is about. Y'all see the co-ownership of a network. First reality TV star to do so. Posner Cosmetics Partnership uh, toured with Eric Bellinger. Over 1,000 graduates of my class. I could go on and on. And yes, she can. You, I just needed to know because I, I believe in facts. I was like, let me get out my feelings, child. I'm not going to go. Let me go see. And I asked her. And then... Here's a screenshot. I was like, ooh. So then Melody shared a communication between her and Sherelle. And it says, hi, Melody. It's Sherelle of Sherelle's World. A couple of people called me this morning saying that you went live last night. This looks like this was December 12th, a few months back. Saying that you went live last night. And in your live, you told them to go after a list of bloggers that included me. Now, see. Okay, let me let me go on first. I hope this isn't true because I haven't said anything about you. It's not true. That lady ain't never named off a list of bloggers. That was a bold-faced lie, but yet here we are. I don't even cover your show, but yet here we are. Plus, I respect Carlos King too much. Okay. Huh. Raindrop. Okay. I don't want to harm his show in any way, and I'm not trying to start I'm not trying to start any drama with you, Sherelle. I know y'all got a lot going on over there, but it has nothing to do with me. I promise you a lot. Go what do you mean? You don't watch the show. You don't know anything. So when you say a lot going on over there, who told you that? Who's feeding you bullshit to get you to align with them? Hmm? That's the question. Y'all see what I mean? Receipts upon receipts. Now, let me tell you about this tea that I said I got a few uh, months ago for Love and Marriage Huntsville. But, you know, you just don't know sometimes. So the new lady, Latricia, that Stormy has brought on this show as her friend. Y'all, let me pause. First of all, this lady right here is a married woman. Hold on. <laughs> Buckle up, buttercup. And this lady, girl, your people are telling on you, Miss Latricia. I don't know why people come to reality television when they got skeletons in their closet. They say, ma'am, your people, they gave me all your business, that you are legally married. Now, if you're not, and if you've gotten a divorce within the past two to three months, feel free to show those receipts. But your people are, well, I ain't going to get no names, but your folks are saying that you marry. They say you out here, you got a whole husband and that this man on the picture with you is actually your side dude, your boyfriend. Hold on. That's not her husband. This really gets good. And y'all, I'm sorry to say it like this, but I, I got to give it to you. And they say you fucking Martell. That's ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, Arion, listen to me closely. Now, Palace, y'all already know. I already brought you up to speed on this. Arion, this is one, listen very closely, one of your new replacements. But this one is doing all the nasty stuff, allegedly, to him and with him that he had you do. And now that he's tired of you, 
This is the second string. This is the second string right here, Arion. This lady right here. And they said the reason why he picked you because he got you between a rock and a hard space because you can't say nothing because you got a husband and a side nigga. So he can, he got you exactly where he wants you. And they also said, ma'am, that y'all had a business deal. <laughs> y'all, I told y'all months ago where they said, y'all going to start listening to me. Martel does not pay anybody, let alone women. And any woman that he's quote unquote doing business around, doing business with, or any women that he's around, he's already slept with. Destiny, is that true? But let me get back to Latricia. Latricia, they said that you were supposed to be doing business with him. And by the time he has you do all that nasty stuff, the business went out the window. Girl, do you want fame that bad that you would let Martel smut you out on national television? Because you're not going to live this one down. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing to your family. That's embarrassing to your side nigga, the one that's on the picture with you. They say that you are still allegedly in bed with Martel. Now, let me tell you something, girl. If, if you not, if you are, Martel's going to tell it. He's not going to spare you. They say this ain't no has been. This is still happening. And it's a sneaky link, but she can't really do too much because he got her between a rock and a hard place. But I just wanted to give y'all that. This a whole married woman, child. But Ariane, she ain't the only one. This, this, this is the one. This is the takeover from a sexual perspective. They said there's a few others in the, in the roster that he's treating a little bit nicer. But with you, Miss Trisha, they say y'all get real nasty. God forgive me. I'm just giving y'all the tea, okay? Now, let's go on to Destiny. Destiny, I'm shaking my damn head at you because you are going out sad. Ain't no way in the world. I don't care how much television I want to be on that I'm coming back to confront a woman about her husband. You got, But you know what? You were a side chick 12 years. You were 12 years a slave. You were a side chick. Now tell me I'm lying because we got receipts. So. Let me back up. You going out real sad. You left sad and you coming back sad. Because ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way in the world I would let Carlos King pump me up to come back and confront a nigga's wife about him marrying her. The moment they said I do, I would have been done. You do, I'm done. You get it? The moment they said I do, I said I'm done. I'm not getting on television. You look real sad and pathetic on television confronting this nigga about why he lied to you. Girl, ain't, ain't $2,500, $1,500, whatever Carlos is giving y'all over there, a toxic ring. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Pam. You're not putting me in front of this man. I'm not confronting this man about him making promises to me to have a kid named Justice. Girl, you going out real sad because that is pathetic as a woman. You never let her see you sweat behind her husband. 